friends welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat West Bengal India this is the most elderly patient I have operated on the patient is 104 years old let us observe this surgery we can see that the cataract is not very hard if we consider the age of the patient patient is 104 and this cataract nucleus sclerosis is about grade 3 plus or grade 4 let us observe the surgery but this time the incision main incision and the side port on the left side of the main incision has been made and now the anterior capsule is stained with trypan blue dye this is a bit of adrenaline and now I wash the dye nicely and then inject visco and we use 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. We don't use sodium hyaluronate. The methyl cellulose is applied over the cornea. And now, capsulorexis. The anticapsule is torn. A capsular tag is raised. This capsular tag is guided all around to get an adequate sized rexes of about 5 millimeter or 5 and a half millimeter and now hydro dissection is done this is a 27 gauss cannula and BSS is used in a 2 cc syringe for hydro dissection and now some more visco and now is the time to go into the eye the machine being used is Oatly Cataract 3 this is Oatly AC tape the fecal needle goes in with its bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and now the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus it goes through the nucleus towards the opposite equator and I get a very nice crack I rotate it 180 degree and separate the nuclei heminuclei completely and now each heminucleus is divided into two parts and they are subdivided into smaller parts and they are emulsified ultrasonic energy being used is 75 percent flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury now here I could not rotate this half which is towards 12 o'clock so I inject visco take two hooks and by manually rotate this heminucleus and now I go again some more visco the fecal needle goes in and I chop this heminucleus into two halves and then each portion is emulsified as I come to the last piece the vacuum is reduced to two reduced to 250 and flow rate 25 and here it is there is a thin sheet of epinucleus this is the most tricky maneuver unless we lift this sheet of epinucleus if we try to catch it when it is very when it is in close proximity of the 
Pusti capsule. We can make Pusti capsule arrangements. Now I inject visco. And now the the epinucleus is managed. Let us observe this in slow motion. Most dangerous is if we try to catch this without lifting it up. So inject visco, get the edge, upper edge and as I inject visco the posterior capsule goes behind and by the visco cannula itself I tried to lift the epinuclear sheet up and it got torn at the center and now this epinuclear sheet can be easily removed without any fear of catching the posterior capsule. Yes, it is done. And now the cortex, remaining cortex is removed. This is a 23 gauze Simco. I go through the side port and remove the cortex from the other side. There is very mild floppiness of the iris in this case. And now we can implant the intraocular lens with visco or with the help of irrigation. As I place the irrigation, the iris tends to prolapse through the ports. And this means there is some element of floppiness of the iris. The iris could be reposited easily. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. And now this sideboard is hydrated. Then the antechamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. The message I want to convey in this surgery is it is not necessary that if the patient is very old, the cataract will be very hard. And sometimes young patients may have very hard cataracts. And we can easily operate elderly patients because it's not necessary that they will have weak jonules. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. It will encourage you to operate on elderly patients. This patient is 104 years old. The patient can hear also and the patient, uh, the other eye has been operated by me a few days back and the eye is doing well. And we are hoping that this eye also will do well.